This is the last episode about a man before we're hidden further to Dead Sea. So I would like to start it with one of the most significant places for Jordanians, Kinabdullah Mosque. It is the only mosque in Amman that openly welcomes non-Muslim visitors. Women are required to cover their hair and entire body by a bias, the black lawn dress, which are available at the entrance to the mosque. Shoes must be removed before entering the prayer hall. Completed in 1989 is a memorial by the late King Hussein to his grandfather. This blue domed landmark can house up to 7,000 worshippers, with a further 3,000 in the courtyard. There is also a small women's section for 500 worshippers and a much smaller royal enclosure. The octagonal prayer hall is distinguished for not having pillars inside. Its dome of 35 meters in diameter has a height of 31 meters. A source of radiation was placed in the middle, taking the form of a golden star, culminating in the 99 most beautiful names of Allah surrounding the dome's neck. The fertile land is expressed in the form of a red carpet, made of ornamental textile, of recurring patterns meant to direct worshippers towards the Qibla. All the walls are panelled with wooden and marble aureoles. Close to the entrance there is a small Islamic museum, including personal acquisitions and photos of late King Abdullah bin Al Hussein. Shards of ancient pottery are also on display together with coins and stone engravings. Markets in Amman are also known as souks, are bustling with energy, people and caters to diverse needs, providing a vast array of goods. It offers a captivating immersion into the sights, sounds and smells of local life. This labyrinthine network of narrow alleyways, dating back to the Ottoman era, and it's a unique blend of tradition and commerce. Suk Ali Hodra is a market for the fresh products with some of the best vegetables and fruits in Amman. It's local, seasonal and affordable. The market stalls are filled with brightly colored fresh fruits and vegetables and it's a great place to pick up a quick snack or taste some local goodies. The next stop is the Cave of the Seven Sleepers, an archaeological and religious site in Arajib, a village to the east of Amman. It is claimed that this cave housed the Seven Sleepers, a group of young men who, according to Byzantine, Christian and Islamic sources, fled the religious persecution of Roman Emperor Trajan. 
Legend has it that this man hid in a cave around 250 AD, emerging miraculously 309 years later. The cave is partly natural, partly man-made. The entrance to the cave is flanked by two stone pilasters and two niches, one on each side, vestiges of a Byzantine church. Inside the cave sit seven stone sarcophagi that are sealed. Inscribed on one of them is the Byzantine Christian octagon. Next to it a hole has been carved, now is covered with a glass, through which visitors can see the bones buried inside. A wall inscription contains the Islamic Basmala, as well as verses from the Quran carved in Kufic script. Christian and Islamic symbols are also visible on the walls. In the early 6th century, a small church was built over the cave, which was later converted into a mosque. About 500 meters from the cave, there is a large and slightly unkempt Byzantine cemetery and a large new mosque complex in the village of Rajib. It is highly regarded as a site of pilgrimage for Muslims and regularly hosts religious gatherings and events and is popular for its Friday sermons. And finally, a few words about the places to eat. Supra restaurant is housed in a lovely old villa in the Jabal Aman area, down to the famous Rainbow Street. The interior combines the local Jordanian element with the contemporary touch, including a beautiful lush garden. Supra specializes in a clay pot cooking, which is said to impart a very distinct flavor. The family-style menu offers a selection of Bedouin dishes made with fermented goat yogurt, as well as lamb or chicken dish that is prepared in a wok-shaped pot and cooked over an open flame. The restaurant is a beautiful sanctuary for an authentic Jordanian dining experience.